just uh, finished doing the preliminary inspection, looking at the paint condition. Uh, the, the vehicle presents well. Uh, paint looks uh, evenly painted. Saw a blemish or two uh, as far as some chips and uh, some prep work. But other than that, uh, pretty straightforward. Lines here look pretty good, but I still have to uh, inspect the uh, the pictures when I do the photo analysis uh, back at the office. But this will give you some quick readings. I've already taken pictures of this. So we've got six and a half, uh, nine thousandths of an inch is what the measurements are. Chrome uh, looks like it's in good shape here, right? Uh, headlights, grill, no fins are broken. Just so uh, you can see where it's just some, um, uh, eventually you'll just say I need to, to rework this or, or freshen it up. Here on the set here, you can see just some minor blemishes here, um, here at the fascia panel, and then the paint is coming off, but the rolls are all nice and straight. Lenses look good. And again, just some more uh, detail or touch up work would probably be needed. All right. So nine thousandths of an inch, okay, 16 and a half, six, okay, good. So when I've seen an excessive use of body filler, um, it's deal, except right here in the upper fender. And I've, I've got pictures of all this too, so just moving on. So that we have a pretty good idea. Tires are in good shape. Don't see any curb rash. And let's see if I can get the um, brake pad. Uh, windshield, didn't see any obvious cracks or chips. I'll be checking the windshield wiper operation and then I'll have to the bin as well. Channel is something I really look at. This is something that's uh, uh, overlooked frequently. And it's not bad. You know, you can see some imperfections, but uh, nothing is as I've seen before. Okay, a couple of readings here real quick. 20 thousandths of an inch, 5.5, and 5 thousandths of an inch. Here, the uh, bright work or the chrome looks Decent, you can see some scratches here. The glass, I don't see any delamination or any scratches here. Okay, just some light scratching here on this quarter glass. And here you can see the uh, uh, the paint blemish is like blistering. Right. And I got a good picture of it with the camera. Okay, moving on to the quarter panel here 13 and a half, seven thousandths of an inch, 14, 10. And then uh, some body filler down there. Okay. Here, looking at the uh, rear glass, just some just some light scratching. I, I got some pictures of it, and I don't know if it'll come out on the video. Just taking at the back shelf here. Looks decent. Back seat, and I'll be doing the interior shots still. Okay. I always like to look at these lines here. Not bad. Just some some flaws there. Another chip right there. All right. So so we know that car has some small chips, but nothing. Nothing big or major has really popped out. Uh, five thousandths of an inch. And then here's a view of the back window. Okay. Just walking around here. And then you'll have pictures of this, but just another view with the camera. Okay, let's get some readings. Twelve and a half, seven, nine and a half. Nine and a half. Okay, nine. Yeah. Not bad. Okay. And rear window. I thought I saw some scratches on the, one of these windows here. A little little chip there. And then oh, here's here's the scratches right here. Uh, right here alongside. And then a little bit of gouging here. Pull in half, and then there's some chips here. And I don't know if I pointed out on the other side, there's some chips there as well. Got eight and a half, eight, eight and a half. So we're getting good solid readings, six. And then we got the 19.7, so a little heavier here. Okay. One final view. All right, so we've had the uh, engine running here for about, uh, about a good uh, minute and a half, two minutes or so. So uh, we'll keep an eye on the exhaust. Um, uh, Troy said, yeah, yeah, we're just getting some uh, condi condensation there. Um, no uh, no oil pressure gauge to look at, but um, let's go ahead and walk in here. Look, uh, look at the pulleys here, they all look uh, pretty straight. We've already pulled uh, all the dipsticks for the fluid. Oil level is proper, good condition. Also look at the uh, transmission fluid. That looks great too. 
uh, uh, so you know, the side to purchase the vehicle. You gotta push down here on the ring here and then pull pull it out. It's got a nice idle. Um, I've already checked the, uh, uh, the uh, innards right here. It looks pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing that uh, really caught my attention as far as being uh, of uh, concern. Uh, wiring is nicely done as well. And I also looked at the underside of the, um, of the hood. Didn't see any issues there. Okay. Uh, just quickly here. Got the Optima battery, which is kind of nice. And uh, I won't bother to check the brake fluid because it is secured. It doesn't have the quick release there. Another view here. And I did check the power steering as well. Vehicle didn't veer. Um, suspension felt tight, and uh, yeah, you get the best of it in the beginning. <laughs> 